Hello, my name is Pat O'Sullivan. My husband Patrick and I own Village Mail and More in Rancho Bernardo, California. We have uh, had our business for 15 years. This, uh, this year it will be our 15th holiday shipping season and I'd like to show you how to professionally pack a box. I start off with a good clean new box. It's okay to use a used box for items that may not be fragile, but if it's a fragile item you want to use a new box. Um, a box is compromised by about 30% once it's been used and gone through the system. So um, we have a brand new box. In this case, I've chosen a 12 by 12 box, which has a, a professional burst strength of 150 pounds, so it can handle a lot of abuse in the shipping system. I'm sending a, um, a, a butter dish to a family member. So I've prepackaged part at the top of the dish, and as you'll see, I've got plenty of bubble wrap around it. Uh, no edges are showing. Uh, the squeeze, my, my, uh, my thing is a squeeze test. If you squeeze it and you can't feel any, uh, any glass or any edges, it's a good pack. So we start with our new box, and we put plenty of peanuts on the bottom. Peanuts do not protect the item. They only fill the box and prevent large items from falling on top and crushing the box. So peanuts are not really uh, protective of the item. You want to use it as extra fill. What you need to protect the item is plenty of bubble wrap. So I've started with the top of the butter dish, and I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit of tape. Make sure that it's securely taped and it goes into the box. I like it to, um, to not touch the edges of the box because, once again, when it goes through the UPS system, lots of heavy boxes will be falling on top of it. So you want to put it in the center of the box. And now we're going to wrap the bottom of the butter dish. And um, I like to just roll it from the top and make sure that the item has plenty of coverage. And then Tape the sides. And tape it once again. So, when you squeeze it, you can't feel any edges. I'm going to put this in the box next to the top of the butter dish. Once again, away from the edges of the box. UPS's guidelines are um, at least two inches of what they call loose fill. We like to call packing peanuts around the box to protect the item. UPS and FedEx insure for up to $100, but if the item is fragile and hasn't been properly packed, they will not pay the claim. So we want to make sure that the we have plenty of peanuts in the box and um, it's okay to do what we call crowning the box, which means that the peanuts will lock down once we close the box. Another good idea is to put a name and address on the inside of the box in case anything happens to the outside, the label is lost. When it goes to lost and found, UPS can find out who that box was intended to go to. So, you press down firmly on the box, make sure the peanuts are all in there properly. And then we like to close all the edges. I cover all the seams of the box. Um, people have asked me about fragile stickers. Uh, fine to put it on the box, it means absolutely nothing in the shipping system. Uh, everything goes through an automated process. So your main goal is to make sure that the box is properly packaged at the beginning. So now it's ready to be shipped. If you're going to go to the post office, make sure you have everything written clearly in magic marker, uh, nice and easy to read, and also to cover the address. If you go to UPS or FedEx, you can come to a store like ours. We will print you up a label right on the spot. We keep a database of all of our customers' information. We do have packing material available for sale here. Uh, peanuts, bubble wrap, tape, and a variety of boxes. 
Um, we'd love to help you with any of your shipping needs. We are happy to package for you. We do guarantee our shipping. And um, if you would like to come in and see us, we'd be most happy to uh, serve you. We have postage stamps. We uh, help you avoid the lines at the post office. We also have a great variety of Christmas stocking stuffers, uh, greeting cards, facts, notary. So uh, we would love to serve you. Thank you so much.